Hi there, I'm Jackie. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a special syntax AOP uses in its queries called cursor syntax. If you take a look at our sample application, behind the scenes you'll see lots of examples of cursor syntax being used. Remember that the best part about the AOP sample application is that it's a real Apex application. You can install it in your own workspace and look behind the scenes at all our examples. If you take a look inside the data source of one of the AOP dynamic actions, you'll see a couple of references to a term called cursor. Each cursor in your query is a block of data. In AOP, this translates into a loop. So for each cursor, you'll have a different loop where you can access the data. You could have a cursor for customers, and then a cursor for the orders for that customer, and then another cursor for the products inside of that order. It's an easy way to accomplish this in one SQL statement. This is an example of a document you could create using the cursor syntax. We've created a letter to a customer, listing the products that they've ordered, the total for their order, and then a summary of the items in their order. Let's take a look at the template and the query side by side. You'll always have at least one cursor called data. This is the one that AOP is looking for. Inside of the data cursor, you can define as many custom cursors as you like. To use the data within one of your sub cursors, you'll need to open a loop. Opening a loop in AOP is done by using the hashtag symbol and then the name of your cursor. You close a cursor by using a forward slash in the cursor name. Every time you open a cursor loop, AOP is going to repeat the section of your template in between the open and closing tags of that loop. So in this case, it's going to open the orders and for each order, loop through the products inside that order. Remember, if cursors are nested, you'll have to open the parent cursor before you can open any cursor within it. This can even be done with tables. Just place the opening tag inside the first cell of your table and the closing tag on the last cell of your table. AOP will create a row in the table for each row returned by the cursor. You can also have cursors that are not hierarchical. They can just be next to each other. For example, if you just need two distinct sets of data to use inside your document. You can find lots of examples of cursor syntax by digging into our sample application. As always, if you need any help, just reach out to us at support at apexofficeprint.com.